Welcome back. Buffalo is known for rich ethnic traditions and with Easter right around the corner, you might have a Polish favorite on the mind. If you're looking for a homemade pierogi, the K sisters in Kaisertown had plenty of options, but you're not going to want to wait too long. The sisters tell our senior reporter Eileen Buckley they're preparing to retire from the pierogi business. These are really authentic. Did you ever say this is just like grandma used to make? We'll meet the K sisters, Karen and Carol Markevich, who make homemade pierogi with their grandmother's special recipe. All I remember was as soon as they came out of the pot, I ate a lot of them because yeah. they were just delicious. Still the best way to eat a homemade pierogi is right, right out, out of the boiling pot. Yep, yep. And it just melts in your mouth. 15 years ago, Karen, Carol, and their late sister Kathy decided to start making pierogi as their side business. I decided I wanted to do something different, something that was fun, that we enjoyed to do. And pretty taxing. <laughs> We're tax accountants. Yes, you heard right. They're tax accountants with their offices in the back of their store on Clinton Street in Buffalo. Inside that store, they've replicated the look of their grandmother's kitchen. Customers like Renee Phillip travels from Williamsville to buy the pierogi. It's like uh, grandma. That's like what my uh, bop used to make. Yeah, for sure. And that's what she said. They're the grandmother's recipe. Ah, well, there you go. It's here in this kitchen where the K-Sisters crew is hard at work making a variety of pierogi. From rolling to crimping to pinching, that's how all the great pierogies are made here. But the K-Sisters tell me they will be retiring in the next few months. What will be the hardest part for you ladies to walk away from this? Oh, I have no idea. I don't know. I'm used to, you know, the both of us with the two businesses, we're... And awesome. now we're just going to be. We've been doing two businesses for so many years, and it's at a point where uh, it's it's just time to sit back and um, start enjoying what's out there. I broke the retirement plans to their customer. Now these two ladies are getting ready to retire. How are you feeling about that? Oh no, they can't. They can't. Or and and who's passing down the recipe? Both the K sisters say they don't have any family who wants to take over their business. We're hoping maybe this gets the word out. If somebody's interested in talking to us about continuing, please call the K sisters. Eileen Buckley, Seven News, Buffalo.